devil also is working out his own plan to distract us but we must remain steadfast because we believe where we are heading to and we believe where we are going so I believe this day you have take this precious time out of your schedule to be with us through this Zoom prayer session which we believe Jesus the heavens will hear us through his word and by his spirit for me taking also this time to communicate with you to pray with you it is a time set aside by the heavens that this is the right moment for us to communicate I believe that is the same belief you have now in your heart so thank you once more good morning I believe everything about you there is good despite the shortcoming the challenges the tribulation we may be facing but as a believer you profess you believe you act faith before you see as a believer you profess you act faith before you see so thank you for being there it's the same brother of yours a prayer partner of you thank you I always say that God does nothing without his word God does nothing without his word but the word of God is not the one on pages the one on pages is just a reflection as I always say of the saint it is someone else's footprint it is someone else's testimony of his conscience you also have your own word the testimony of your heart that is God's word the testimony of your heart that is God's word because it's communicating to you what God is saying now and what God is saying tomorrow and what God will still say in future that is God's word the word on the pages it is someone else's footprint your own way that the heavens are communicating to you is the one in your heart now the testimony of your conscience that is the original God's word to you now and in his way he says what our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit so whatever is going on now in your heart it is God talking to you whatever is going on now in your heart is God talking to you God does nothing without his word dreaded in Christ God does nothing without his word his word will say the same thing tomorrow today and forever thank you for being there let's go in his word I will still go as a spirit direct we talk about there are three things that govern the entire world three fundamental three precious ministries that govern the entire universe three ministry fundamental any other came through them we we'll go in his word let's go in his word first corinthian first corinthian 13 chapter 13 verse 13 first corinthian chapter 13 verse 13 you will find the three ministry that govern the universe this is to what paul preached and confessed to the corinthians he says on that verse 13 now he said and now this theory remain 
faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. Are you getting it? It says what? And now, this three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. And now, this three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest among those ministries is love. If I may ask, where did you get your faith? What are you hoping for? Without love, the ministry of faith cannot work. Without love, the ministry of hope cannot work. You need love. And that love we all can testify has disappeared. Most of us, we focus in faith. We focus in hope. But no love. And that is why you are, we all are bankrupt. Without acting love. We need to act love. Love is so essential on this journey is the fundamental. For you to act in faith, you need love. For you to act in hope, if you are hoping on something, you also need love. Love is the force that set faith work. Love is the force that set hope work. Without love, it cannot work. Without love, it cannot work. So we all must stick in love. Those are the fundamental ministries. Faith, hope, love, and generally, love is the greatest. Love your enemy. Forgive those who have offended you. Pray for those who speak ill word against you. Love has no limit. Those, I believe on Wednesday we were there. I took this example of the poor, the poor widow that Prophet Elisha met. She would have chose not to give any to the prophet. But she exercised love for the little she had. Most of us are praying, fasting, confessing, I'm a child of God, I'm a believer, I'm a Christian, I'm born again, but failing to act in love. Yes. No one will question you about your self-declaration. Love is seen now. Love act now. Love gives now. Love sacrifice now. That is love. When Bible says the greatest is love. Bible did not say the greatest is faith. Bible did not say the greatest is hope. Bible says the greatest is love. If you are going down all the time praying, be an embodiment of love. Be a friend of love. When there is love, there is peace. When there is love, there is contentment. When there is love, there is forgiveness. When there is love, you will not hold grudges. When there is love, you will not hold grudges against someone. That is love. Love does not have a bridge. 
Love does not have limit. Love has no limit. Love has no bridge. Brethren in Christ, we that confess children of Jesus, born again Christian, we ought to act in love. Love must not only limit only for your immediate family. Care for others because someone someday care for you. Jesus sent someone in your life to care for you. That is love. That's so why he himself deliberately gave himself for love. Jesus. That is why he deliberately gave himself for love. You need love. And if you look very well in the way, fighting here, fighting there, backbite there, you even see even within ministers of God, they are quarreling, they are fighting, they are castigating others because there is no love. Be an example of love. Brothers and sisters in Christ, be an example of love. Christ is love. He or she that lives in love, love will abide in the person. Yes, he or she that lives in love, love will abide in the person and Jesus will live in the person. That is love. You need love. Love is a spirit. Faith is a spirit. Hope is a spirit. What you are expecting to become, we call it hope. And you need love to set hope work. We all believe, I know you are there. Like I said on the first day, the nation that some of you are, it was not your desire. But the circumstances that surround you make you to be where you are. And I believe that you still have great expectation. Yes. I believe you still have great expectation to aim high. That expectation can be met when you are embodiment of love. Love is progress. Love is promotion. Love next level in life, in future, in career, in destiny. That is love. We all need love. That is love. Love is a being. He enter in us and make us to be an instrument of love to give relief to others. Brethren in Christ. That are the three. Those are the three ministries we all can hang on. But the Bible says the greatest is love. Live in peace. Live in peace. That is love. Live in harmony. That is love. Live in comfort. That is love. Live in forgiveness. That is love. That is love. That's what he's confessing to us here. In that first Corinthians 13 verse 13. They say, and now this three remain. Hope, faith, and love. But the greatest of them is love. As you are praying, as you are fasting, as you are still depending in heavenly supply, make sure you are embodiment of love. Hang on love. Love is power. Love is strength. Love beautifies the future with desire. The reason you will be blessed is because someone is there to subtract in your life. Love has given birth to four entities. Yes. Not
not hope not faith I said love has given birth to four entities I will name them to you and wish you know the face that love gave birth to is addition it is love that gave birth to addition it is also love that gave birth to multiplication it is also love that gave birth to subtraction yes love gave birth to addition to subtraction and divide those are the four children of love are you getting me brother in Christ so if you are expecting multiplication know that someone need to divide if you are expecting addition know that someone is there to subtract from what has added <laughs> get it clearly those are the four entities the four children that love gave back to four of them addition multiplication subtraction and division yes that is love don't only believe don't only aim at your expectation I want to add, I want to add, I want to multiply, I want to add, I want to go to next level in life, I want to be in that nation, I want to be in that way, I want to be what is at your disposal now, the little someone somewhere need to divide it someone somewhere need to subtract from that little that is love love is not greed love does not exercise pride love is not arrogant love is gentle love lives in simplicity that is love it lives in what? in simplicity love care for the need of others that is love it care for the need of others you may not know that what is still holding you back? What is still tying you back? Heaven just needs only a little from you to sustain someone somewhere. Yes! If you have never heard this, get it today from your brother Benjamin that there are four children that love gave birth to. If you are expecting multiplication in your life, remember that someone somewhere need to divide. If you are expecting addition in your life, brethren, remember that someone somewhere need to subtract. Lord Jesus, give your children this indwelling love Give your children this indwelling love. Remove spirit of setback. Remove spirit of hatred. Remove spirit of unforgiveness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I know the take home message today is love gave birth to four children. Four brethren. Love. Addition. Multiplication. Subtraction. And division. Those are the four children of love. If you have never heard this, this is take hope message today. That love, eh, the Benjamin says, Love gave birth to four children. Addition, 
multiplication, division, and subtraction. Yes! Those are the four biological children of love. So, as you are aiming high, as your expectation is high, remember, someone needs to reduce from what you have. Someone needs to divide from what you have. That is love. Not only praying. Yes, we all know the song. Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. Yes, that is the only language that Jesus hears. Prayers. But today, people focus more in praying. People focus more in quoting the scripture. People focus more in fasting. People focus more in praises. People focus more in worship. But they deny love in action. Jesus is love. Brethren, I come to you as a prayer partner to you. Because I'm telling you where I am today. If not of the little work that I've been doing through love, I don't think I will have been here today. So I'm expressing what I've been benefit from his precious hand. Lord Jesus, may that spirit of love locate your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May that spirit that you gave your son, Jesus, that he came and pay a price. What a shameful debt that Christ paid for us. A shameful one. Because his expectation was to establish love. Yes. Jesus deliberately gave himself to his to the adversaries. To his adversaries. He deliberately gave himself to establish love. When you are exercising love, people may think you are fool. Because it is not of their own advantage. Love does not regret. Love does not select. Love does not show only for the close one. Love looks beyond the glow. Love looks beyond the immediate family. Love looks beyond your extended family. Lord Jesus, if that love had disappeared in the midst of your children, restore that love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The same word we have read in that first Corinthians 13, 13. There are three ministries. Faith, hope, love. Bible says the greatest is love. So, if the greatest is love, love is pregnant. I mean love is pregnant. If the greatest is love, love is pregnant. And I'm telling you that he has already given birth. <laughs> yes. Love has already given birth. Yes. Yeah, because there were three. The heaven separated one from the three. He separated love. That love is the greatest. And love gives birth to four children. As I earlier said. Love has given birth to four biological children. Addition multiplication subtraction and division those are the four biological children of love if you have never heard that heard this today from your son Benjamin your brother Benjamin that love has four biological children if you want heavens to intervene to extend and expand your code 
remember that someone must reduce, must subtract, must divide for what you have. That is love. Prayer is the key because that is the only language we can speak with our father. Prayers. But to grace it all, you need love. Lord Jesus, we need love. Father, strengthen your children. Strengthen their heart in love. Father, strengthen their heart in love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, if they are hated in their working place, Father, may love dwell. If wherever they are struggling to have their daily bread, oh Lord Jesus, and they are hated, I establish love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Love should reign in your midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Love should reign in their midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe this message has sink in our heart. Yes. I believe this message has sink deep in our heart. <laughs> I know as you are going back home today, when you will take your own precious time, you will know that Benjamin said that love has given birth to two entities, to two children, love, four. Multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. Yes! Those are the biological children of love. Jesus is love. Jesus knew that people that persecuted him, they merely advanced him for him to be recognized throughout the universe. A seed was planted. We call it love. A seed was sent to humanity. We call it love. Word that became flesh turned to be light for all humanity. That is love. God so loved the son, but he did not hold the son back. He released the son to become light for mankind. Light is love. If you want that unquenchable light constantly before you, be embodiment of love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be an embodiment of love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be an embodiment of love. Love should reign. 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 Love should reign in all areas of your life. If you are hated as from this moment, you will be loved. If you are behind in setback, having setback, to move forward, you will be love. Lord Jesus, there should be love by your power. There should be love by your strength. Lord Jesus, any shade of darkness that covers the light in their life, I release them from that darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as you have given me utterances to speak to your children, Lord Jesus, strengthen them. Lord, strengthen them. Strengthen them. Strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today we are talking about love. Love and be love. Love and be love. That is what we have been talking about it today. Your love will not fail. I know most of you had been a candidate of love. I know that. What I'm praying for you, you should not cease in love. You should not cease in love. You should not cease in love. Yes, you have been exercising prayers, fasting, praises, worship. <laughs> Maybe 
you have not been activate, activating your love work. Yes! You know, we can have energy to pray. Even what I'm praying to you now, I must pray to you in love. Some may have energy to pray, energy to fast, energy to wave their hand in the house of God, energy to worship him, but the energy of love has disappeared. I'm here today as a child of God that heaven has given me the mantle for today that may that spirit of love be restored in your home, in your life, in your career, in your future, in your destiny. Everything that has to do with you, may that love spirit affect it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May that love spirit affect it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, affect the heart of your children because you love the world and you sent your son through love. Father, may they express themselves in that love. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May they express their self in that love. Love and be loved. Forgive and be forgiven. Tolerate. You will be tolerated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot say you are a child of God. You are a Christian. You are born again. You still live with malice. You still live with outrage. You still live with resentment. You still live with anger. All those who have hurt you. All those you have hurt. Make a phone call. Say brother. Sister. I forgive you. Whether you are the offender. Or the offend. We all stand before Jesus in one way or the other to be blamed. Make a phone call. I say, brother, if I've one time offended you, forgive me. Or you have offended me, I'm pleading for forgiveness. Release yourself from that bondage and act in love. You cannot act love while still in the dark because love is light. Light is love. If you are expecting to move, to grow, you must live in love. Live in peace. Live with contentment. Live with tolerance. That is love. Oh Lord Jesus, I come today as a prayer partner to your children. Rescue them, oh Lord. Rescue them from any bondage. Father, we activate our love work now. We activate our love work now. We activate our love work now. May your love work be activated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your love work be activated now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your love work be activated now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are an embodiment of love. God is love. He or she that abides in love and God abides with the person is an embodiment of love. Let love lead in our midst. Oh Lord Jesus, all their hidden prayers, their sacred prayers, answer them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Answer them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I separate any spirit of impurity. I separate any spirit of impurity. Be separated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be separated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be separated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any unclean spirit. Any unclean spirit in their career, in their life. That be stopping them 
they'll be giving stopping interval. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will hold you back. As you have dropped, step yourself to be an embodiment of love. Nothing will hold you back. Your progress is sure. Your testimony is sure. Your progress is sure. Your progress is sure. Is sure. What had been your expectation? I say is sure. What has been your expectation? I say is sure. Is sure. Is sure. Be it in your family. Be it in your private life. Be it in your destiny. Be it in your future. Be it in your salvation life. I say it is sure. I say it is sure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say it is sure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's word has guaranteed you today. God's word has guaranteed you today. God's word has guaranteed you today. You are healing. It's sure. Oh Lord Jesus, if I be a child, you send to your people. Father, hear our prayers. True love. Father, hear our prayers. True love. Hear our prayers. True love. Hear our prayers. True love. There, is, there will be no day you will regret forever being part of this prayer session because it is a moment that Jesus has set aside. It is a moment that Jesus has set aside. And you also, out of your tight schedule, you still keep the program in heart. Father, here are your children. I stand as a medium used by you answer all their hidden sacred prayers. Whatever you have decided for them to become before the end of this month, before the end of this year, it shall come to pass because you have said so. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As the Lord has said, his word will not go out without fulfillment. His word will not go out and come back without fulfillment. Lord Jesus, fulfillment is what they need. Father, in their head, in their families, in whatever they have to do with their hands, fulfillment. Fulfillment, fulfillment, fulfillment in Jesus' name. Yes, brethren, God's word has never changed. I'm convinced that Jesus is still on the throne. Jesus is still on the throne interceding for us. Believe him. Trust him. This prayer session, this Zoom prayer session has started. It is not a mistake. But it is an appointment. God sent someone to someone Yes, I believe you were there on Wednesday that the prophet was sent to that particular poor widow, Prophet Elisha. And the moment the encounter between the prophet and the poor widow, things did not change in her life partially. Things change completely in her life and her household. Everything changed. I believe 
this time as a child of God as you are two are better than one we have joined force today and we have communicated Jesus the intercessor the interceding one has heard us remain in faith not in doubt you can doubt but don't fit in doubt don't harbor doubt live with freedom don't fake your love don't fake your peace let your peace be natural let your love be natural it is part of your good head it is part of your sources it's part of your promotion it's part of the next level in life you are designing thank you God bless you I'm also praying for you we may not be here all the time maybe all the hours but as we stop I'm not stop in praying for you thank you for being there thank you for remaining connected to this new Jerusalem TV I believe your testimony is right on your lips. It's right on your tongue. Thank you for being there. We only meet again on Monday. Same time, same time, same place. And Jesus will be there to guide, to strengthen, and intercede for us in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you.